need to get your fish. I have mine. Quinn doesn't want it. I don't want to take food because Joseph said that the food tracks the stingrays. So I think I'll be OK. I saw a few stingrays already, but they don't look that bad. Aqua Team has just arrived in Aruba, in the Dutch Antilles. We're stopping over on our way to an amazing aquarium on the nearby island of Curaçao. We've been invited aboard a submarine normally used to take tourists sightseeing on Aruba's coral reefs. We are taking it down to an even deeper depth, searching for a shipwreck called the Morning Star. They closed the top, guys. Good morning. Welcome. I've just got one question. Are we going to have to equalize? You're not going to feel your ears popping at any time because we have a stabilized pressure here in the cabin of one atmosphere. So the hatches are closed and secured. We have permission. Die, 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 die. Die. We've never done anything like this. The submarine lets us go deeper than we've ever gone before. 40 feet down to a coral reef, then to 130 feet to search for a sunken ship called the Morning Star, and all without even getting our feet wet. The great thing about a submarine is that anybody can explore the ocean. This amazing coral reef is so full of life. Like, you hardly see any dead coral like most of the sites we've been to. Right now we're down at about 40 feet, and we're kind of wondering why we haven't been diving here, because it looks so cool and so pretty. Look at all these fish. Oh, is that a queen? That's not a spotlight parrotfish. fish. Right? Yeah, that's definitely the queen parrotfish. fish. Oh, we just saw the queen parrotfish, and I think it might be the first time I've seen one. I think everyone else has seen one. What are those with the stripes on it? What are those? Um, there's so many sergeant majors. Hey, there's one of those guys. There's tons of sergeant majors. What, you see a blue tan? Right there. Oh, well, it's probably out of sight now. Do any fish come right up to the submarine? Oh, oh, look, what's that fish? Oh, Cool. It's a French angelfish. His name is Bobby Jr. Okay. Yeah, Bobby Jr. Very friendly. That's nice. Hi, friendly. <laughs> There's so many fish like in traffic. So and it's really nice having these because whenever we see one, we're like, what kind of fish is that? It's different from being out scuba diving because you can actually talk to each other. Oh, look at that one. Wow. Whoa, what's that? See it? I don't see it. Right there. Right there. Is it green? Yeah. It's huge. Wow. Big. That's pretty sweet. We just saw a green moor eel. The head was about that big. And I guess we were really lucky to see it because they're a night animal. And we're at 48 feet. So it's pretty exciting except for that noise. I love being a submarine. It's like it's like you don't have to do all the work of doing scuba diving. You just have to sit here and go down and you have to watch everything. And they do all the work. Is there any ever a chance that you could run out of oxygen in here? No, we have two banks. So we have one operational and main. It's served. That's good sir. Is that kind of like the tanks that you use in scuba gear? No, like no. The... This is oxygen. That's air. That's compressed oh, air. Yeah. That's so, that's yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's very good. Huh? I can 
can't see it. Wow. Whoa. Where, where, where? It's right there. What are you doing down here? Oh, man, I never thought we'd see a turtle. Nice. We're just at 80 feet, and we're descending all the way down to 130. And this is the deepest I've ever gone. And the corals pretty much disappeared. It's basically just sand out there. It's really weird. And I guess the temperature in the water has changed, so that's why there isn't any cool coral or small fish. And now, we're looking for the morning star. Yup, there it is. This is the morning star. It served as a cargo ship before it sank here 10 years ago. It's really intact. You can see the cabin where the cabin was. There's lots of really nice coral in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think he's following us. that we can dive to is 40 feet, and we've exceeded it by like three times as much, which is, which is pretty cool. That's pretty deep. We're gonna go back to the shallow. Let's say bye-bye to the deep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. As soon as we got topside, the surface crew told us that if we rush to the beach, we might be in time to see something really special. There's a sign. Beware endangered species. Sea turtle nesting site. Oh, so they cool. might be buried there? Every get... year between September and March, reptile researchers flock to Aruba. Yesterday afternoon, 43 little hatchlings were found. So we hope that we can find now 43 shells. We are digging now to have an investigation of the nest. Those are fake eggs, they will never hatch. Those have yolk in it, but this is developed. I will continue. Okay. 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 You guys, look how deep she's taking. Yeah. I know, it's really cool. So what's in the bucket? Turtles that are still alive. We didn't find one as yet. How long could a turtle survive that deep in the this one didn't survive. Oh, oh. oh. I like can't. Look. Oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, that's really sad. Look at that. that. You guys, only one in a thousand survives when they're hatched. That's the size when they're born. Yeah. yeah. You can see their like arms. Yeah. Is the shell hard or no, it's soft. The name is leatherback sea turtle because oh. it's like leather. It's a special species that is different from the other sea turtles. Oh yeah. They live in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean, close to where you come from. We actually heard about yeah. that, that they can go all the way to Nova Scotia. Yeah, because they feed on jellyfish, big, big jellyfish. We don't have them in the Caribbean. So they come just to the warmer beaches because their eggs need the sun to incubate. And normally they come back to the same beach where they were born themselves. Really? It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And there was another nest that hatched today. My husband digged over there and he found two alive. So if you want to see that, there are still two. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, we would love it's a DVD. So hurry, hurry, and you can see okay. that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have live turtles? That's true, yes. We will release them in the ocean. They need to crawl on their own force into the ocean. That gives them their memory, sense, and they will return if they are female. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay. Yes. Oh, look at the markings they're making. Aww. Now 
would they have survived if you hadn't dug them up? And no, they should have died down in the nest. has been awesome, but we have to get to the sea aquarium in Curacao. Luckily, it's only a 20 minute flight. Aqua Team is on its most amazing adventure ever. We explored a shipwreck by submarine and witnessed baby sea turtles struggling to survive. And we're just getting started. The Curacao Sea Aquarium is famous for its dolphins and sea lions. And especially for a program that gives kids with disabilities once in a lifetime up close encounters with dolphins. The aquarium sits on the edge of a huge coral reef. And seawater constantly flows in. We've been invited to work at the aquarium. And we figure the best way to get acquainted with the animals is to dive right in. But wild animals can be dangerous. We want to get as much information as we can before we come face to face with them. Welcome. How big are the stingrays? Do they have like big barbs? Well, they're pretty big. Yeah, we have males and females. The females are the biggest. They're going to be pretty impressive. And they have the barbs on them? Yeah. Has anything actually bad happened to any human being while they were diving here? Yes, people don't listen to safety regulations. And people who don't listen, they get bit. So, if we're feeding, this is the bucket you'll be carrying along when you're diving. We each have one? Yes. Uh -huh. Always feed, hold it in the tail, and feed like this. This is how you feed. If you're feeding like this, you're actually feeding how many fish? Four. Four, Four. see. <laughs> no. <I'm saying> things <laughs> like that. We would like to get all of our divers out in one piece. Nice. You need to get your fish. I have flying. Gwen doesn't want any. I don't Where want you any. Go, Gwen? No. No, just no, seriously. Stop. Listen, so serious. listen Joe, to me. Joe, stop. No, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm not making her. I just want to say. Joe. I just want to say something. Joe. Gwen, you really, really want to try and feed those sharks. And I'm gonna. If I want to feed the sharks or turtles, I'll take one from Emily. We've already discussed that. All right. Thank you, though. Okay. High five. I don't want to take food because the food tracks the stingrays. So I think. I'll be okay, and we'll see how it turns out after I get out. I saw a few stingrays already, but they don't look that bad. Okay, are you ready? Let's head down. We weren't even in the water for 30 seconds and the fish were all over us looking for food. I was holding out those little fish and the fish would come new on my fingers. It was hilarious. Sharks really freaking me out. When you give them the fish, they suck it and it feels like you're, yeah. they're gonna suck your hand in with it. It's like, oh. They'd like, and then they just chomp. Those turtles didn't actually look that nice. No, they weren't vicious. They were just biting and smacking each other. And the, the, the nurse sharks would just try to get right in their way while the turtles were biting around the hole. Every animal in the ocean, a 
approaches its prey differently. But they're all hungry. Feeding the sharks was crazy. They chomped it right out of your hand. After seeing the rest of the aqua team feeding the sharks and turtles, I felt a little bit silly about being scared. So, I got a fish from Emily. I was so proud of her. There is about 10 stingrays. And so they're much bigger than me and Izzy. I did not want to go down there. I seen them all coming from here and there and there. Then I tried feeding one, and then as soon as I fed him, they all just started coming from every which way, and I'm like, I'm getting hit in the leg. I started realizing, well, this can't be good. They started climbing on top of you and trying to get the food, and it's really, really overwhelming, and it freaked me out. There was no way I was going to go down there. They'd be sitting on the back of my knees, and they'd crawl up me. The rays were all over me. I went from laughing to absolutely screaming. I was close enough. I looked and he had a barb on his tail. I thought he was gonna get right and try to destroy me. I was scared. Emily and I were holding hands so tight the entire time. just crawling all over. They were just swimming right past your face and on your head and like up your arms. And it, was, it was a bit too much for me. Oh my gosh. I was grabbing onto Rachel's arm, screaming underwater. I, was, I think I used up all my air. I can handle sharks, I can handle big tarpon, but I can't handle stingrays. Aqua Team is diving into our work at the Curacao Sea Aquarium. But feeding hungry animals? is way more intense than I imagined. We were all a little scared, but we knew something was really wrong with Isabel. It's not like her to just bail on a dive. The stingrays followed us right to the ladder. I'm just glad they didn't follow us to the surface. I didn't really like the stingrays. I lost a finger. Ah! I actually. Yeah. Izzy got a bit scared and went up early, so I have to go talk to her, see what went wrong. I don't know. Oh, what happened? Oh my god! I saw you go up, and I was just like, "Where's she going?" Was it like a bit too overwhelming? That was just really weird. Yeah. Didn't you see those stingrays like crawling on your head? They were like... Oh, I felt them! <laughs> they were they were just Huge. crawling on my leg. And, oh, yeah, it was oh, pretty was creepy, creepy, but they weren't hurting me. Like, I, I had, like, I could feel them sucking on my hair. And, like, I guess the stingrays kind of freaked her out. I wasn't too woohoo about the stingrays either, but, like, I was a little nervous. I wasn't really comfortable when they were under me, but... Man. You're down there, they're soft, they're nice, they just want some food. Like, I had them all over me, they're like, across my face and up, crawling around my body, and you just gotta think of it that they're just waiting for some food. Yep. 
It's been a crazy couple of days. Dangerous depths, life and death, hungry animals testing the limits of our nerves. And we're just starting our work at the Sea Aquarium. So thank you very much, Peter, for all the things we did today. And I think we all had a wonderful time. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Okay, you guys. You guys are going to fit right in around here. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kumbi from the Aqua Team. I never swim alone, and I always have my buddy. And, and we, we have, have all these people, people helping us. We're 